Even if you're not a horse racing fan, you probably remember this moment. American Pharaoh is now the 12th Triple Crown winner. And while you've undoubtedly heard all about American Pharaoh, you probably haven't heard of Smokey, the horse behind the horse. Smokey is more like a child having a security blanket. When Pharaoh sees Smokey near him, it, it makes him feel at home. This is cool, I have my buddy with me. They have a very good relationship. As long as I have plenty of carrots for him and American Pharaoh has his carrots, everything's good. Think of it as an equine version of Entourage. Pharaoh gets a best bro to keep him grounded, while Smokey soaks up the perks that come with having a famous friend like jetting around on Air Horse One, or getting a police escort back to the barn. You see, thoroughbreds are the divas of the horse world. Pampered, temperamental, used to getting their own way. But for generations, an age-old remedy has helped calm them down. That's right, we're doing this. Let's meet some barnyard buddies. This is Google the Goat. He may not look like much, but to this guy, he's everything. This is El Doffer. Career earnings, more than $1 million. A lot of these thoroughbred racehorses get very, very nervous. And you can have a horse, once the horse figures out on race day, hey, today's gonna be a race, uh, they can expend a lot of nervous energy throughout the day. So. The fact that uh, you have a companion goat uh, that can be there to help keep the horse calm can absolutely make a difference in how the horse competes. Like in 2010, when Odoffer and Google were living together in Florida. That fall, Odoffer traveled to Kentucky to run in his first big race, the Turfway Park Handicap. He went over to the track and he was going out of his mind. His eyes were bugging out, he was sweating, he was running around in the stall. They called back to Florida and said, look, this horse can't run in this race. This is, it's impossible. He's just acting like a lunatic. And they said, that's funny, this, the goat's doing the same thing. So they flew the goat to Cincinnati. They drove him to Turfway Park. They put him in the stall for three days. Everybody calmed down, and then he won a half a million dollar race. El Doffer in front, a tone falling knife, and El Doffer. El Doffer had become a very valuable horse, which means Google had become a very valuable goat. But even if you have a franchise goat like Google, you still need a deep bench. After he won that big race, they didn't want to disturb him, and so they decided to have a backup plan. So they had to get Yahoo as the backup goat. Now retired, El Doffer, Google, and Yahoo live out their days munching on Kentucky bluegrass. The barnyard version of Three's Company. They walk with him, one walks in front, one walks behind. They're like the Secret Service and he's like the president. But not every ending is so storybook. Consider the star-crossed saga of the filly We Miss Frankie and her goat, Pickles. Pickles just adored her. He was going to be her man. He gave her confidence. He made her feel safe. He was hers, she was his. At their home in Santa Anita, California, they were a power couple. We Miss Frankie racked up three wins and more than a half million dollars. But when she was injured and needed surgery, Pickles was the strong man she needed. In the morning, the van arrived to bring wee Miss Frankie to the surgery center. And she came out of her barn, she was approaching the van, and then all of a sudden she stopped. She wouldn't walk any further. So I said to my trainer, go get Pickles. Pickles, you know, trotted out. Pickles walked right up into the van and she followed right behind him. 
But by 2013, we Miss Frankie was ready for a new stage in her life. She moved overseas, became a mom. Pickles, meanwhile, can't let go. Pickles is still Pickles, but there's something missing. I think there was a void in his life. Alfred Lord Tennyson said, "'Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And while Pickles has never heard of him, he certainly understands the sentiment. Companion animals go right back to the beginning of the industry. Billy Turner trained Seattle Slough to a Triple Crown win in 1977 with the help of a no-nonsense horse named Steamboat. In the 40 years since, he's seen it all. Every now and again, you'll see one that uh, has a chicken that goes with it. And you'll see that when the horse is in the stall, the chicken will be on top of it. The legendary Sea Biscuit apparently had a whole posse a horse, Pumpkin, a dog, Pocatel, and reportedly a spider monkey named Jojo, who probably looked like this guy. You know, I've seen rabbits. I never could understand that. Somebody's had a pet snake. Uh, for, I don't, I, I never could understand that. Sometimes it's just a couple of dudes living together, like Latigo Trail and his pig for a roommate. Charlie. Don't judge, it works for them. But some horses prefer things a little more tidy, like Breeders' Cup Sprint record holder Run Happy, and his brother from another mother, Sancho. Sancho is a very clean cat, so he comes around, he will groom himself, and he's very good about it. Sancho was found as a kitten outside the barn. He's never left. They do have this kind of very playful energy in certain times of the day where, you know, Run Happy will nip at him and Sancho will do the same thing. Yeah, they're just really playful brothers that get along and their own set of fast friends and what a 1120 pound animal can be to an 11 pound animal. Every night, of course, he does sleep in a stall with him. Run Happy has heat lamps and he's bedded down on a bunch of straw that stays very clean and very warm. And so Sancho loves it. But not all buddies are so peaceful. Sometimes they're just an ass. <laughs> Fergie is a one-year-old donkey. And she does not like it when her BFF can't be dazzled heads off for her morning workout. When Fergie gets upset, she's typically kind of banging at the door. She starts to bring all the hee-haw stuff starts. But once they're reunited, well, just look at the pep in her step. She is constantly right by her side and follows her everywhere she goes. But she's uh, about the happiest little four-legged critter I think we've all come across. She loves Campy Dazzled so much. It's pretty remarkable how, how strong their bond is to each other. As you raise your mint jewel, be sure to tip your fancy hat to the likes of Google and Yahoo, Pickles and Charlie, Sancho and Fergie. Because no one makes it to Churchill Downs on their own. Everybody needs some help from a friend.